సహనావతు సహనాగునకు సహ వీరంకరవాహై తేజస్వినవధీతమస్తు మా విద్విషావహై సిక్స్ నిస్తత్వాపి జగద్భ్రాంతి మాయా నిద్రేవ కల్పయే మాయావృత్యవ్యచారయత్ సవిచార్యాఖిలాన్ లోకాన్ సృష్ట్వా పాలక సృష్టే విరాటను ఛిద్రేషు అథ తేవతా వ్యధా ఆత్మ ఈజ్ నిర్వికార నాట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ టు ఎనీ చేంజ్ మోడిఫికేషన్ అండ్ దర్ ఫర్ ఇట్ కెనాట్ క్రియేట్ ఆన్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ మాయా శక్తి ఈజ్ నిస్తత్వా హెజ్ నో రియాలిటీ ఆన్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ సో వన్ మే థింక్ హౌ ఇట్ కెన్ క్రియేట్ సో ఫర్ విచ్ వీ హెస్ సీన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దట్ ఇన్ స్పైట్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ నిస్తత్వ అనిర్వచనీయ ఇట్ దట్ సచ్ క్రియేషన్ ఆర్ సచ్ సంథింగ్ యుటిలిటీ ఆర్ దట్ సమ్ క్రియేటెడ్ థింగ్ ఇట్స్ యుటిలిటీ యాక్షన్ ఎట్సెట్రా ఆర్ పాసిబుల్ as in the case of balayakshavat so this atma considered let me create the jagat saikshata lokanu srija iti now ikshata means thought did sankalpa a general question is possible how come atma did the sankalpa for you to do sankalpa or consider something what is required antakarana creation has not yet taken place antakarana can come into existence only after creation so how did atma consider this that let me create so kamayata bahu syam prajaye eti it is said he desired let me become many in terms of the jagat all these do need antakarana but creation has not yet taken place how is it possible so these ikshana shruti is like this many shruti statements are there where ikshana is there we have to take not it is not just thinking as such it is the first manifestation of the prakriti maya to become the jagat actually in the presence of atma brahma so based on the purva karma phalas the creation starts ishvara is only maya dhyakshena prakriti hi suyate sacharacharam lord krishna said prakriti maya maya adhyakshena with me as the one presiding factor in my presence it's create the jagat even ishvara need not brahma or atma need not think of creating is already programmed that in his present take same thing is presented just as we do we consider something it has been put in the form of consideration actually it is the first vikara of prakriti to get modified in terms of jagat just that a seed sprouts and becomes a plant and there afterwards tree now before even sprouting do you know what happens it gets swollen it gets swollen that is the first effect then the sprout comes like this 
the maya prakriti the first it is now ready to create the jagat in the presence of atma that is what is called as ekshana so that ekshana all ekshana shruttis means the first vikara of prakriti to create the jagat so that is what is it so we say so he is here it is said saha vicharya having thought of means having considered akhila what did you do akhilan lokan srishtva having created the entire jagat then thereafter what did you do mere jagat is not enough when the jagat is created that jagat has to be maintained it has to be looked after it has to be sustained wherever something is to be destroyed it has to be destroyed all these things need functions and when functions are there functionaries those who take to those functions must be there therefore he what did he create after creation pal loka palaka srishtai so having created jagat for different types of functions the functionaries presiding deities adhisthana devatas who will look after those functions are necessary so he wanted to create that so that for loka palaka srishtai means loka palaka srishtyartham to create the loka palas loka palas here the loka palaka or loka pala the presiding deities adhisthana devata so what did he do for that virat tanum krutva before creating them the virat tanu viranu the macrocosmic thula sharira the macrocosmic gross body so tanum krutva having created atha thereafter chidreshu chidreshu means in the apertures what are those apertures virat tano ho chidreshu like mouth uh, mouth not mouth virat tano mouth eyes ears of all the limbs of virat tano and what is virat tano the sustam samashti sthula sharira in those chidreshu in those places tad devatah vedha tad devatah those devatas what are those agni vayu indra all these devatas vedhat vedhat means produced or fixed or placed he produced he produced the devatas and fixed them at the different indriyas of this virat tanu virat embodiment one more aspect also we can see when because here a particular way of creation srishti is given in upanishads whenever the srishti that is theories of creations are given the purpose is not to tell us that actual there is a creation which has got the reality creation in terms of experiential reality we can't deny but absolute reality for the creation is not there it appears to be there like bala bala yakshavat bala yaksha appear to be there but truly not there so likewise creation appears to be there experience but in reality it is not there and all the theories of creations are not to tell us that there is something called creation in reality why are they given they are used as the means to make us know what the atma swarupa brahma swarupa is in mandukya karika gaur padacharya says upaya ha sovataray saha avata avataray upaya avataray means to make us know what atma swarupa only upaya a means upaya ha sovataray so from that standpoint we have to consider all the shruti that is a uh, theories of creation in reality it is not truly that that atma brahma went underwent modification to become the jagat that is why we don't find harmony or concord in all these theories of creation no the two the creation the upanishad tally with each other because shruti's intention is not to give us the theory of creation it is only a stopgap arrangement 
to make us know what the final Atma Swarupa is. So here, Tad Devataha Vedhat, he produced and fixed those Devatas in those Chidras of Virat Tanu. Thereafter what happened? Samudra Tulle Dehesmin Devata Pati Patitas Tatha Tam Deham Kshut Pipasa Bhyam Yojaya Masa Saprabhu Tatha Asmin Samudra Tulle Dehe Devataha Patitaha Tatha Asmin Samudra Tulle Dehe Devataha Patitaha Saha Prabhu Tam Deham Kshut Pipasa Bhyam Yojayamasa Kshut Pipasa Bhyam Yojayamasa Tatha, so also, or as well as, this is what he did. Asmin samudra tulle dehe. In this deha, which, which, whose deha? Virat tanu, the virat embodiment. And how vast it is? Samudra tulle dehe. As vast means samudravat atyanta vistruti. Like ocean, which is all spread, actually, that illustration is not an adequate one. Because if you consider Virat Tanu, Samudra is nothing. But among things known to us, Samudra is vast. So therefore, from that standpoint, so Samudra Tulli, the vast or vast? If we have returned from America, vast, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> it happened. Some I said vast. Somebody correct, corrected me, vast, he said. I thought my English was not that poor. I was not a very great person in English language, but that was not that, that poor as such. Of course, I kept quiet. Afterwards, I referred the dictionary, let me verify what it is. U.S. last. <laughs> so they, in bracket they have given last. Okay. I think this Indians who go there, you know, they think that not if you speak in those terms that pronunciation is something great as such. But a Great Britain will be something other other thing. Actually English means from Great Britain only. That's the origin source of that. You have to follow that. If Sanskrit you have to follow, our Indian only. So not Buddhi, <laughs> these Westerners cannot pronounce Buddhi properly. Buddhi, <laughs> Buddhi ka baad mein Buddhi ho So anyway, so if any language you have to conform to the original pronunciation, and that's that. Okay. The va in that va samudra tulle, samudra vat tulle. So that means vast as what samudra. That samudravat atyanta visrute, visrute, atyanta visrute, to lay. So what did he do? Tatha, then what happened there? Asmin samudra to lay dehi. At what deha it is? Virat deha. In the virat embodiment, devataha patitaha. These devas fell. Fell means what? They were fixed there. Means they found themselves there. These poor fellows were, you have to say poor only, why <laughs> you will come to know why they are poor fellows. These poor fellows who were created and they are like, you know, suppose some army officers placed in some desert. <laughs> and suddenly what? They were transported there and left there like that. So in this Virat embodiment, these Devatas were placed, that is fell as it were. So that is what? So devataha patitaha. Then what did he do? Saha Prabhu. That Parameshwara, Prabhu Parameshwara, that at, Atma, see, that at, started with Atma Evaidamagrasi. 
that atma now has got a status what status parameshwar why he has created the jagat with the maya left to oneself atma paramatma brahma now ishvara bhagavan so that for sahaj overlord of entire creation saha prabhu what did you do tam deham kshutti pasabhyam yojayamas tam deham vid deha virat deham virat deha what did you do kshut pipasabhyam yojayamas he connected means he made it endowed and he endowed it with kshut pipasabhyam by kshut ngar and pipasa thus the virat tanu he made it endowed with hunger and thus there started the first problem why <laughs> because virat sadu had the hunger and thirst our bodies are part and parcel of virat sadu we also have hunger and thirst. just imagine if hunger and thirst were not there what would have happened <laughs> 75% of the problem would not have been there other 25 would have been there you have to say okay you not there. but i think why did he do that and nobody is business <laughs> i think who is the culprit now sahab prabhu that ishwara adnesale what he can do he is also programmed why all of us jeeva demanded the field of experience he has to provide so you have ordered he has to execute the order afterward ordering if something you find problem if what who is to be blame why did you order this is not like local local suppliers you have to remind them for 6 months to supply the goods this is very prompt the moment you order at exact appropriate time with delivery period it is ready in that so no no defect on the part of no mistake on the part of ishwara so that how say should be pass because the embodiment has to continue embodiment has to continue means what is required sustenance is required sustenance required means you have to give the food, provide the food and the that is the uh, drink etc for example car you have to put the petrol and what is the purpose of the car as a, as a show piece or what that you can keep in the showroom that different thing so but if you have to make use of the car you have to put the fuel like that if you have to make use of this embodiment it has to be made to run it should be passed that is food and water etc is required and for that should be pass abhyam yojayama so he connected them with should when he say made them endowed with them this is should be pass anna bhoga yatma dehan ಗವಾಶ್ವಪುರುಷಾಧಿಕೋಗಾಯ ಗವಾಶ್ವಪುರುಷಾಧಿಕಾನ್ ಆತ್ಮದೇಹಾನ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾತ್ರೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತೇವತ
it is so vast like the ocean how will you feed <laughs> how will you feed you know that they say when kumbhakarna was eating army was in action <laughs> to supply him food and the drinks they had to put a ladder and then what climb and pour in his mouth all the food and drink now that is kumbhakarna however big he may be but still it is a small body for virat to you know the vast entire jagat is the body of the virat what is left out as food that drink <laughs> so food and drink has to be different from the one who eats and drinks is it not so no one can eat oneself or drink oneself so the virat tanu comprises a gross embodiment how is it possible so therefore so some practical difficulty was there so what did ishwara do so that that virat that we anna bhogaya anna bhogaya means annam attum to eat the food so why eat the food virat tanu being so vast cannot eat on its own so small small embodiments varieties of embodiments were created what are those gavashva purushadika gau go kau ashva horse purusha human being just sample 84 lakhs of species not one or two 84 lakhs of species yonis so he created for the adikan atma dehan dehan means individual embodiment not atma here atma dehan means our our embodiment this individual small embodiment atma dehan so he srishtva having created तत्र तत्र तेषु देहेषु इन दोज एम्बॉडिमेंट इन दोज इंडिविजुअल एम्बॉडिमेंट हैविंग 24 लाख्स ऑफ स्पीशीज एंड मेंबर्स कैन बी काउंटलेस सो दैट नॉट 24 84 लाख्स ऑफ स्पीशीज विद इन्यूमरेबल मेंबर्स इन ईच स्पीशीज दे से देयर आर अबाउट for i think 30 to 40 thousands of species of birds only birds varieties think of it so means thousand bird varieties so that like that so that means in each species there are so many members of different varieties as it okay tatra means teshu deheshu in those individual and embo- small embodiment हैविंग क्रिएटेड द जगत टू लुक आफ्टर द जगत ही क्रिएटेड द इंडिविजुअल एम्बॉडीमेंट विराट देह बट विराट देह कैन नॉट दैट मीन कंटिन्यू इट सेल्फ विदाउट द फूड एंड द ड्रिंक विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो इंडिविजुअल एम्बॉडीमेंट आर क्रिएटेड नाउ सेम फंक्शन हैव टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ इन द इंडिविजुअल एम्बॉडीमेंट सो now deputation of this devatas in each and every embodiment so there in those deha their bodies devata devatah it is yathayatham yathayatham means in accordance with the particular indriya the chidra was told no so in which chidra what is to what which deity has to go so if for example if i who has to be the surya if the uh, organ of speech agni so here uh, the ears dik devatas like that yathayatam corresponding to those chidras whatever appropriate devata has to be there that in accordance with that yathayatam devatah those devatah praveshayat So made to enter means he fixed them there. Isho sadharanam sthanam apashan kshutti pasayo praveshayad devata su tad bhogati chatrupyata. ये 
ईशा क्षुत्पिपो असाधारण स्थान अपश्यन देवतासु प्रावेशयत् ते च तद्भोगा तृप्यत तद्भोगा तृप्यत इन विराट देह इन दट मीन्स इन डिफरेंट द्रास डिफरेंट देवता स्वर्ग ऑल्सो हैड क्रिएटेड एट देह ए स्पेसिफिक प्लेस फॉर क्षुद पिपासा हंगर एंड थर्स्ट वॉज नॉट गिवन तो दर पर ईशा ईश्वर क्षुद पिपास असाधारण स्थान अपश्यन फॉर दिस क्षुद पिपास फॉर हंगर एंड थर्स्ट असाधारण स्थान असाधारण मीन्स ए डिस्टिंक्ट ए सेपरेट सो इन एक्सक्लूसिव Without seeing an exclusive place, a distinct place for hunger and thirst, because in the Virat Deha, so such that means such a particular place was not assigned to them. So therefore, apashan, apashan means na apashan, not seeing a particular place for hunger and thirst. What did he do? Devatasu in all the devatas which had occupied, which were made to occupy. the different chidras or indriyas in the individual embodiment so what did he do devatasu praveshaya so made them enter whom kshut pipas hunger and thirst were made to enter in all the devatas so therefore what happens now te cha those two kshut pipas te means kshut pipas hunger and thirst तद भोगा तृप्यत तद भोगा मीन्स तेषा भोगा तेषा देवता भोगा बाय द भोगा ऑफ द देवता वॉट एपन्स तृप्यत सो वेन द देवता गेट द भोगा मीन्स द सेंस एंजॉयमेंट सेंस एक्सपीरियंसेस विषय भोगा दे हंगर एंड थर्स्ट गेट सैशिएटेड दे गेट कंटेंट Now here, current thirst should not be confined only for eating and drinking. Demand for a specific vishaya by a specific uh, or sense organ. For example, desire to hear is hunger for ear. Ear means that devata, dik devata. Desire to see something is hunger for. chakshu devata so like that hunger and thirst so that was the that the desire for having the sense enjoyment at all these levels they are called as hunger and thirst when it comes to the sense of taste tongue then it is what actual eating and drinking for sustenance of the body so te chatrupyata means chut pipase get satiated contented by the bhoga of the corresponding devata Fine, your things okay. Individual bodies are created. Devatas to take care of functions are placed there. Should be passa also are given. So what? Hunger and thirst may be there, but what should be supplied? Food and drink also, is it not? Without that, what is the use of such? It is a torture. So therefore, he has to create that anna also. अन्ने सृष्टे भोक्तृवर्ग हजिघ्रक्षिघृक्षिंद्रिय त्र वागादशक्ता तदपानो गृहतवा अन्ने सृष्टि भोक्तृवर्ग तद्रिय हैजिघृक्ष अजिघृक्ष हैजिघृक्ष अजिघृक्ष सो दट इज हैजिघृक्ष त्र वागादय अशक्ता अपान तद्गृहतवा तद्गृहतवा 
अन्य सृष्टि अन्य सृष्टि सती सती सप्ताह में दिस मीन्स व्हेन द फूड वाज क्रिएटेड न हियर एक्चुअल सैंपल ना व्हिच फूड एक्चुअल फूड ईटिंग फूड व्हेन दैट फूड वाज क्रिएटेड नो व्हाट इज टू बी डन इट इज टू बी ईटन हाउ विल दे ईट फॉर यू एनी प्रॉब्लम नो यू नो हाउ टू Even a child knows, and these devotees didn't know. How is it possible? Is it possible? Even child also, of course, some instincts are there, like a duck taking to water, etc. That is the, that is fine. You need not train, but still some practice also is required. But they know by instinct, by pure samskara. Now this is what. Creation has just started. They don't know how to tackle this food now. <laughs> how to handle this food? They don't know. So therefore, they started experimentation. All Indriya started. I started eating the. Food. It is not given in detail. I think this is very interesting. <laughs> I started eating the food. Can the eyes eat the food? No. And said, if eyes were able to food, how nice it would have been. You just see the food. <laughs> Your hunger will go. Or hotels will be the only showrooms only. <laughs> All varieties of food will be there. Of course, ticket will be there. You pay first. <laughs> not not like this. First eat and then pay. No, first pay and then <laughs> see see that. And the same food can be eaten by everyone. Why? No problem because it is not going to get diminished at all. so you can have varieties of menus and simply see your hunger will get it didn't work <laughs> how nice it would have been is it not <laughs> so it is given that so it is given that way like this how is it so by just seeing or then smelling that not or touching that also now i the seeing doesn't work touch then what will happen your hunger gets filled or smell Like, like so, then you know, all the food will be sighted in a tight security <laughs> because the moment you get the smell, your hunger will get up. The fellow, or the, the one who cooks, etc., or the well, those who sell the food, they will not be able to earn the money. So, the moment you inhale the smell, what happens? The hunger is appeased. No, so therefore. so they tried the devatas tried all indriyas to eat the food they didn't succeed anne srishte bhoktru vargah tad tad means that annam indriyaihi hi ajigrakshat hi means it is known in the shruti like that ajigrakshat means desire to eat they attempted to eat by the indriyas So indriyas they attempted to eat, but what happened? It didn't work. Tatra vaga daya ha ashakta ha vaga the speech etc. Ha huh? yes other thing vaga. If organ of speech were to appease by eat, do you know what happened? Rasgulla is <laughs> what you let rice sambar. Uh, dal, vada. All you have to say what? <laughs> take, take the name. So the waiter when he comes and he rattles out the <laughs> name, his hunger will be happy, <laughs> and not yours. And you have to repeat after him. For that you have to pay afterwards. Okay, <laughs> you have to pay. So he did it. So vaga daya ha, vaga daya. Organ of speech etc. Ashaktaha, no shakta. They were not. This is one by one given the three upanishads. They were not capable of eating it. Then finally, one guy succeeded with that. Apana ha tad grihi tavan abba. Apana, apana ha tad. What is apana here? See, now we know we are expert. How you eat? <laughs> you put in the mouth. Afterwards, where does it go? Inside. 
there is a vayu functioning there apana vayu that means that vayu which goes inside that is what is functioning it it throw it sends the food inside in the stomach that is annasya mukhabilat antaha praveshana roopam nigaranam swallowing actually eating the food means we swallow swallow that where that vayu that vama that is the vayu which is that which is in internal which which has got the internal direction so that is what is that is called as apana so because of it the food goes inside that vayu apanaha annam grihitava he that means he ate the food means he could succeed in eating the food now a problem is going to come entire embodiment is inert by itself for whose sake is this bhoga eating drinking etc for whose sake can a jada thing eat drink no there must be sentient entity and who is the sentient entity individual jiva how that jiva came into existence the srishti is going on how that jiva came into existence so that is now told in the shruti sa ikshata katham nu idam madhrute syat iti so sa ikshata that atma paramatma consider katham nu idam madhrute syat this embodiment how can they exist without me without me means chaitanya roop atma how can they exist why can't they they are inert by themselves jada by themselves how can they exist so therefore what did he do saha etameva simanam vidarya etaya dwara prapadyat so what did paramatma do atma do so he entered the body now that another shruti now pravesha shruti like srishti shruti or ikshana shruti pravesh shruti entry of paramatma in the body those who are attending brahadarana kanubhuti prakash at car sunday morning we have discussed at length pravesha shruti entry so entry here is availability of chaitanya roopa atma in the embodiment as a sentient entity as a jiva so therefore is what did do so he entered how did he enter so what is the mode of entry a particular route saha etam eva simanam vidarya so simanam what is the simanam on the head in the middle there is an aperture what is called as brahma randha through that it is at the junction of the two parts of the two hemispheres of the skull at the central is say so through that aperture he enter so that is how so says etameva simanam vidarya that is what murdha madhya bhagam eva kapala sandhi roopam the kapala in the that is skull where the two bones join from there there is an aperture there he entered we how vidarya having split it open they enter विदार्य एतया द्वारा प्रापद्यत सो थ्रू दैट ही एंटर दैट इज हाउ सी इवन एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ सर्टन योगीज आर कैपेबल ऑफ इजेक्टिंग आउट द सुख शरीर थ्रू ब्रह्मरंध्र लिटल ब्लड ऑल्सो कम्स इट्स सो दैट मीन दैट इज द एपर्चर फॉर सुख शरीर टू गो एंट्री ऑल्सो दैट वे प्रापद्यत आदर दे से वन मोर गेट इज दैट one more door is there at the tip of the toe atma didn't enter there it is meant for prana to enter you know a big mention maharaja's door is different and servants door are different even hotels also staff staff lifts are different and for others are different like that here also so that is atma paramatma didn't enter to the other one through who through which door who entered prana servant prana is servant is that the top of the head he enter so that is now explained in terms of that jivatva how as a jiva he is available 
जीवा भावे वृथा सर्वम इत्यालोच्य परेश्वर शिरो मध्यम विदार यात्र प्राविश जीव रूपत परेश्वर जीवा भावे सर्व वृथा आलोच्य परेश्वर जीवा भावे सर्व जीवस्य अभावे जीवा भावे सर्वं वृथा इति आलोच्य शिरो मध्यम विदार्य अत्र जीवरूपत प्राविशत शिरो मध्यम विदार्य अत्र जीवरूपत प्राविशत परेश्वर दट आत्मा हुमसेल्फ इज परमात्मा परमेश्वर नॉट देवता स्वीचार छोटा ईश्वर इज द परमात्मा परेश्वर जीवा भावे सो जीवस्य अभावे इफ द जीवा हु इज टू एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दीज इफ दैट इट एंटिटी इट सेल्फ इज नॉट देर सर्व वृथा All vritha. What is that? All entire srishti up to this point is useless. Why? Why srishti was created? Parmeshwar was bekar, and he had not nothing to do. So he created no. The karma phalas of the jivas were demanding the field of experience for them only. It was created unless they are there. How is it possible? So vritha sarvam vritha iti alochya having considered. So what did he do? Shiro Madhyam Vidarya, having split open the middle of the that is head, that is on the skull top of the skull, the middle portion, that is what Vidarya, Vidarya. That's why you know in that just newly born child, you know, has seen palpitation. You know that is what they, they say in the last packing of Bhagwan before setting. <laughs> Before sending to the, before sending to the world, so that means he has to put so many things. No? That's why they say if Bhagwan puts, forgets to put some green grey matter in the skull, <laughs> then the fellow will be idiot for ever after. So that is the last thing. It's a very very tender. In the child, children, you can see that palpitation is there. So that is the, somewhere there it is. Not be that big. Okay, don't say not that big. Yes, sir. there only is very small effort. Very. It, I think with the bare eyes you can't see possibility. So the, from there, you see, the shiro madhyam vidarya atra atra mis dehi in this body, jiva rupata ha pravisha, jiva rupata pravisha entered in the form of jiva. Actually, what is entry is nothing but paramatma being available in the antakarna achidavasa, and that achidavasa. Having got identified with the embodiment, has created a individuality. That availability as an individual jiva is what is called as entry. That's all. So it is also like like the sun entered the water. What do you mean by sun entered the water? Pratibimba reflection of the sun available in the water. So also the Paramatma his pratibimba is available as the jiva atma here. That is what is called pravesha. Pravisha Jiva Rupa. So, what is the Jiva Swarupa now? What is the nature of the Jiva? It is described in 13, 14, and 15. Prana Nam Dhara Kakarta Chetano Jiva Uchate Anakagra Mahankara. चिद्व्यातनो एक करेक्शन दैर अहंकाराश्चिद आकार दैट लाइन यू रिमूव आनकाग्रमहंकारिद्व्यातनो भवे आकार इज नॉट दैट एड याणा धारक कर्ता चेतन एड सह जीव उच्य सह जीव उच्य 
ஆனகாகிரம் சித்வியா ஜீவாரணி that verb is jeev means to prana dharane means to sustain the prana therefore one who sustains the pranas is one who is prana we call jeeva sustain the pranas means one who makes the pranas function makes the pranas function for pranas to function what is required tidabhasa is required because inert thing cannot function on its own tidabhasa required so that is available through the chidabhasa in that is the, that is possible through the chidabhasa as in the antakarna yaha prananam dharakah the one who is the sustainer of all the pranas who makes them function also karta the doer of all activities chetanah sah so and himself or itself the jiva itself is chetanah sachetana not inert saha jeevaha uchyate the one who is the sustainer of pranas and the doer of all activities and itself sentient in nature chetanan in nature that is what is called as jeevaha uchyate anakagram ahankaraha chidvyapta chetanaha abhavat on account of this on account of this so what happens that ahankara jiva means again what individuality is there individuality with the identification the embodiment that identification the embodiment is ahankara that ahankara is antakarna vritti inert in nature but that is that inert antakarna vritti is made sentient so therefore how because of the availability of chaitanya in terms of chidabhasa how long all along the body up to the tip of the uh, the nails so from that standpoint anakagram chitvyaptah chitvyaptah means chita vyaptah chitvyaptah pervaded by chit here chit is not just chaitanya chidabhasa so chitvyaptah finally means chita vyaptah means chidabhasena vyaptah pervaded by chidabhasa so that ahankara that ahankara because of this permeation of chidabhasa chetana abhavat became chetana sachetana sentient in nature he became sentient in nature so ahankara who was inert in nature has become sentient that is how jiva functions so that is himself is the jiva taking the body as i अंतकरण भाग अहंकारो मनस्तथा वृक्ष से मूलमग्रम चाग तथेक्षता अहंकार तथा मन अंतकरण भाग वृक्ष से मूल अग्रम चागौ तथा ईक्षता फॉर दिस चिदाभास टू बी अवेलेबल वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड अंतकरण सो वॉट इज दट अंतकरण इट हेज गॉट टू पार्ट अहंकार तथा मन one is ahankara other aspect is manaha in this way these two says dwau antakarana bhagav these are the two aspects two parts of antakarana as we know antakarana has got how many parts four mana buddhi ahankara and chitta but here it is given only as two ahankara and mana 
not a mistake some divide that way wherein the this buddhi and chittam are included in this buddhi goes with ahankara chitta goes with the manaha so this division you can refer to drigdrishya viveka in drigdrishya viveka such division is made at different places different types of others also done the other way also the two that is made so there in the commentary i have discussed this at length so what are the types of this combination are made that doesn't mean the other doesn't exist so for convenience sake such divisions are made if total divisions you want they are four mana buddhi ahankara chitta otherwise for practical purpose they take ahankara and the and the manaha in the sense ahankara is the one who wields the instrument of mind so ahankara ha tatha manaha dvau antakarna bhaga these are the two parts of antakarna like what an illustration is given yatha just a vrikshasya moolam ag Mula the root of a tree and agra the trunk of a tree. So trunk, branches, leaves, etc. So these are parts like that. These are the two parts of that ahankara and mana the parts of antakarna. So yatha vrikshasya moolam agram cha bhagav. These are the two parts like that. Tatha in the same manner ikshatam. So may you know, consider the two parts of antakarna, ahankara and mana. चिदिंब प्रतिबिंबाभ्यांकार चेतनो प्राणभृत हृन्नीष्ट कर्ण मन टू करेक्शन चेतना प्राणभृत मेक चेतनो प्राणभृत कारणम मेक इट करणम दट आकार यू रिमूव नॉट कारणम करणम अहंकार तो चिदिंब प्रतिबिंबाभ्यात चिदिंब प्रतिबिंबाभ्यात एड स एड सह चेतन प्राणभृत मन तस्ष्ट करण मन तस्ष्ट करण अहंकार तो सो वेर दिस अहंकार ना चिदिंब प्रतिबिंबाभ्यात इट इज युक्त एव इट इज वेरीली एंडोर्ड बाय चिदिंब एंड चित प्रतिबिंब इट इज एंडोर्ड विथ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ चैतन्य एंड चैतन्य इट्स हाउ बोथ बिकॉज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ चैतन्य विदाउट चैतन्य इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दर फर इट इज एंडोर्ड विथ चिदिंब एंड चित प्रतिबिंब अहंकार इज एंडोर्ड विद एंड दट अहंकार हु इज नाउ सो सेंशियंट सचेतन इन नेचर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस चिदिंब एंड प्रतिबिंब नाउ सह दट अहंकार चेतन सेंशियंट इन नेचर प्राणभृत हियर प्राणभृत मीन्स हि इज द जीव दट जीव इज नथिंग बट दिस अहंकार हु परेट्स दिस एम्बॉडिमेंट एज आय प्राणभृत मीन्स इज जीव तस्फ दट अहंकार मीन जीव से प्राणभृत तन तस्ष्ट करण मैंड इज हिज करण एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेर इज इट अवेलेबल हृन्नीष्ट हृन्नीष्ट अवेलेबल इन द अंतकरण हृदय इज फॉर अंतकरण अवेलेबल इन द अंतकरण सो दिस स्टांदा शोज जीव एज अहंकार एंडोर्ड विथ चैतन्य एंड चैतन्य प्रतिबिंब यू कैन मेक ए इक्वेशन जीव इज इक्वल टू अहंकार प्लस चित प्रतिबिंब 
और कॉल्सो कॉल्ड है चिच्छाया चित प्रतिबिंब और व्हाट इज कॉल्ड चिच्छाया प्लस चित बिंब चित बिंब मीन्स नॉट प्रतिबिंब चित बिंब मीन्स द एक्चुअल चित चित इट्स तो जीव इज अहंकार प्लस चित प्रतिबिंब दैट इज चित छाया प्लस चित बिंब दैट इज चित सो दिस इज व्हाट जीवा इज इट विल बी यूजफुल आफ्टरवर्ड्स आल्सो सो हाउ इट विल बी यूजफुल व्हाट आर द वेरिंग फैक्टर्स पेरिशेबल फैक्टर्स इन द जीवाना सी अहंक जीवा इज अहंकार प्लस चित छाया प्लस चित What are the factors come and go subject to destruction? Ahankara, chichaya, subject to coming and going. Chit, always that. That is our true nature. Jiva's true nature. Now this jiva operates in this body. How does it operate? He has got three headquarters, not one headquarter. Three head. But bad man is. So therefore, don't say someone bad. Who is the? Us only, huh? We only. We have got three headquarters. Let us see what are those. Tasya rutkanta netreshu. Tasya rutkanta netreshu. Prachara vashato bhavat. Supti swapno jagarascha. Soyam samsara iritaha. तस्य प्रचार वशतः प्रचार वशतः सुप्ति स्वप्न जागरश्च अभवत् सहा अयम् संसारः सहा अयम् संसारः Tasya, Tasya means yes, ahankaras, jivasya. But who is that ahankara jiva? Pareshaha, Paramatma, who has entered here. Ah, therefore, is what? Jivenatmana pravishtasya pareshasya. Tasya means the Paramatma, Parameshwara only, who has entered here in the form of the jiva. So that is to be. That means his origin has to be kept in the mind because Jiva is in reality who Paramatma only. So tasya Jiva Natmana Pravishtasya Parishasya Rudkantha Netreshu. In this Rud Rudaya Antakarna Kantha Throat Netra. That is the this eyes. So this prachara vashat on account of all activities dealing. So what happens now? Suptihi sapnaha jagarascha abhavat. These two, these three types of experiences do take place. What are those? By prachara in rut, supti takes this. By prachara in kantha. Sapna takes this by prachara in netra, jagara takes this. So jiva operating exclusively in hridaya. Hrit stands for hridaya antakarna. But how? Exclusively. Exclusively means other things are not available. Gross body is not available. Subtle body also is not available. In the cause of the subtle cause of antakarna, it abides there. Means in the sleep. So in the sleep, see, for jiva to operate, they say, in sleep, what happens? Gross and subtle bodies are not there. Chaitanya is there only in terms of ignorance, with the conditioning of ignorance. In the so, uh, dream state what operates only sukshara operates not the gross body at that time they say the jiva prachara is in the nadis nadis certain nerves in the region of throat yoga shastra speak about that 
in the throat region in certain nadi the prachara the activity is there so therefore the seat of dreamer is called as uh, is the nadi the seat of the sleeper adnya is antakarna antakarna not functioning but it dormant whereas the seat of vishwa the waker consciousness is eyes and there also right eye right why see among all indriyas what is most important eyes and in that they say right eye is still more important so right eye. it is said to be the seat of the vishwa vishwa who is vishwa the waker consciousness so therefore he says so tasya for that jaja paramatma who has entered as jiva on account of these varieties the different types of activities so what happens sleep dream and waking state took place and all this put together do you know what it is saha ayam samsaraha iritaha this is what our samsara all club all your experiences waking state dream state and same whether you do ha 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 hu 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 or ayo you scream all are what all are in waking dream and deep om swasti praja bhya paripalayan nyayena margena mahimaisha ro brahmane kashubhamastane loka samasta sukhino bhavantu ಶಾಲಿ ಪಶ್ಯು ಮಾಕಶ್ರಿದುಖಭಾಕೇ ಅಸತು ಮಾಸಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೂರ್ಣಮುದೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ